Sit down. <laughs> Sit. I'm not a dumb bitch. You're a dumb bitch. <laughs> G'day, I'm Evan, and welcome to Gamey Gamey Game. Joining me on the show this week, it's Michelle Frazier. Hello. Hi. Clap yourself. Stand up. Bruce, come back. Bruce is gone. He's over it. Also, Naomi Higgins. I'm not going to stand up. What the fuck are you doing? Michelle! Women support women. <laughs> Lean no in, what. bitch. No matter what. <laughs> no matter what! And Ben Russell. My name is Ben Russell. I'm not going to clap because you just called me a dumb bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you called me a dumb bitch like 10,000 times. Yeah, but it's 2019! No, it's not. We're filming <laughs> this in 2016. Yeah, this is all pre-recorded. This yeah. is pre-recorded. <laughs> um, Bruce is here too. Bruce. Bruce, Bruce is here. And Tazo is here, but he's hiding because he's got a cone around his head. Where? He's under here. He's under Ben's feet. Wow. He'll come out. Tazo's very shy. Give him time. Um, sorry we didn't do a show last week. Yeah, what Everybody the fuck, Everybody must Evan? have missed us, but it's good to be back. Mm. What happened? Oh, it was just a busy week, you know. I got sunburned. I'm okay now though. <laughs> I got sunburned. I can't, I can't do the show in summer. <laughs> oh, it's summer. It was a busy week. Aloe then... vera, fuckhead. <laughs> yeah, it's... 2019. <laughs> it soothes the skin, you fucking pig. <laughs> I used aloe vera. And what then? I was still red and sore. You're a red little boy. It's called concealer, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Um, We're coming in hot today. Yeah. We are so feel real mad. Hot like Evan's red little little baby skin. skin. <laughs> I burn real easy. How red were you on a scale of one to real red? R real red. Like yeah. Hot crab. Yeah. Like, like Barnaby Joyce. Little crab boy. <laughs> Maybe not Barnaby Joyce. I was little, peeling though. It's not good. Crab. Really You're bad. peeling. Little crab boy. <laughs> little I'm gonna crab. crack you open. I'm gonna crack you open. Suck suck you off. What? <laughs> Ben, you dumb bitch! <laughs> um, hey, uh, oh boy. I also want to say, because I forget otherwise if I don't say it right now, hey. that you can see these guys at the Comedy Festival. Yes. Ben, you're doing a show at the Comedy Festival. I'm Melbourne. doing a show at the Comedy Festival from the 8th of April to the 22nd of April so at 9.45 every night. It's called Philangst. And the name will be right here, because Evan's going to put that. Uh, so I won't have to spell it. Right. I will. Uh, it's fucking sure you're funny. Doing a show? Yes, it's called Double Denim, a very oh, fancy yes. dinner party. And it's going to be really great. It's at 8.30, so you can see that at 8.30. Oh. And then in between, the 15 minutes in between Falangist, you'd have a <laughs> degustation at Nobu. <laughs> okay. Night out in Melbourne. Okay. City of Lights. Oh, great night out. Time. City of um, Lights. This week, uh, we're going to be taking a look at the Division 2, uh, which is there. And uh, and some some other big news that's happened, uh, things like Google Stadia, and um, and hey Bruce, kind of you want to kill him? Game. Do you want to kill him, Evan? No, I don't want to kill him. What the hell? You sure you don't want to kill him? Uh, also, the new you uh, kill all dogs. No, that's my dog. Also, the new he's dying in Oculus cancer. Rift announcement out of GDC. Uh, but first, what do you think of this? An adorable old man in Taiwan was so dedicated to Pokemon Go that he built a contraption so he could play on 11 phones at the same time. <laughs> Aww. I, this guy. I, I, love, I love this. It, Why? Too, Why do you love this? I love it because, because it's beautiful and he's, he's committed to something. Hmm. I guess he's, it's good that he's getting out of the house, but really, Pokemon Go? In 2019? Yeah, it's 2019, <laughs> but he's old. bitch. Old people get iPads later, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, he's the, yeah. I'm pretty sure every old person has an iPad. Yeah, that's they true. do now, but they didn't get them at first, and then they didn't figure out they could take photos on them. Mm. I went now to, they're just taking photos at all your favorite tourist places. I love it. I went to the Louvre, and it was just, just old boomers just taking photos with their iPads. All I saw was iPads. And people with bum bags. I love this man. He's doing something different. That's He's yes. changing the mold. I have to say, it's fucking adorable. Not a He's bum bag to be seen. 70 years old. 70? Um, He's not that old. That's no. really not that old. That's no. like, I thought he was like 90. My dad. He's younger than my mum. Happy birthday to my mum. She turned 71 <laughs> two days ago. Crack her oh. open. Shut her up. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> my birthday was like a month ago. No one cracked me open or sucked me off. I'll well, crack you. Ben? Sick. Um, talk to your partner, your life partner. 
I got a lot of stuff going on. Okay. Uh, okay. So this guy. <laughs> Fine. He's like, he's got, he's cheating. He's cheating, yes, he's definitely cheating. It's just another cheating boomer. He's cheating. cheating us out of the housing market. And he's been rewarded for cheating because um, Asus, Asus. ASOS. Um, ASOS. <laughs> it's pronounced ASOS. <laughs> have, um, have sponsored him in that. Now you can see there he's got a lot more phones now. And great um, clothes from ASOS. And but it, he's really <laughs> well styled. I don't care about this story. That's Why good. not? It's I don't cute. know. If I saw this story, I'd be like, that, just like that. Right. <laughs> if I saw this story, I'd be like this. This is this this is probably what you'll be like when you're older, right? Ben, no. you'll be playing games. Absolutely. You'll be a passionate. I'll be, be playing games and I'm not gonna play fucking basic bitch shit like Pokemon <laughs> Go. Go fuck yourself. I'll be playing the de- the Destiny ten and it will at launch be terrible. And we'll be like, it's oh how dare you, Bungie, you've done it again. And then Bungie will be like, oh no, sorry, we didn't learn anything from the Division Nine. <laughs> and uh, then they'll make it a good game, and it'll, but it'll be too late, people will say, but people will keep playing it. And you'll only have to buy the DLC and the season pass to get it. That's right. I won't be doing They'll that. get us again. I'll be Prime Minister, so I'll have oh, yeah. war games to play. You will not be Prime mm. Minister. I'm going to be Prime Minister. No, you've, you've done too many crimes. <laughs> Watch me. I'm going to do more crimes. War crimes. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, the games developed for conference has been happening, right? And Oculus, what's happening now? Did we moving on? We're moving on from the old man. Okay. We got all we could out He's of him. He's dead now. <laughs> <laughs> we have to move on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have to move on. Um, the uh, so, so Oculus VR have announced at GDC the the new Oculus Rift S. Okay, it's a higher resolution. Okay. Virtual reality headset with inside out tracking. It says, Evan wants to talk about this so bad, so let's please just let him. (laughs) So, Evan, what's the difference between the Oculus Rift S and the Oculus Go and the Oculus Rift? How dare you? So. How fucking very dare you, Ben? Really? The. Okay, so the Oculus Go is like the. Wait. So the Oculus Go <laughs> is what? It's the the entry level uh, version, right? So, so it's, I can just come on in, hop in, pop in. It's a casual it's gaming experience. Casual game. Yeah. Where am I? You've got basic sort of touch controls, but not, Touchy. not like the the sort of high. So why don't they call it Oculus Rift? Because it's, <laughs> it's because it's oh, it's Oculus Go. It's the more so Oculus Go casual. Which version. one is a virtual reality man? They're all virtual reality. Um, they're all virtual reality. But if I put my headset on, yes, will I be able to play a game? Yes, yes, you will. Well, what's the these? difference between Oculus Rift S? Yes, and the Oculus Rift number one. Okay, so it's it's a higher resolution uh, display than the Oculus Go. Then the Rift, bitch! Then, then the Rift. Shut up! <laughs> so the Rift, the original Rift has a 1080 by 1200 uh, pixel resolution per eye, whereas the Rift S has upped that to 1280 by 1440 per eye. Wowee! So that could help uh, reduce the screen door effect when you're playing. Holy uh, mama! What are the camera's things at the on the on the what VR the headset? Things? The camera things. The so thing. that's there. The the Oculus Insight, inside out tracking. Oh. So that means, uh, you know how in our office we have the uh, tracking Outside sensors. tracking. We have three of those. Um, so we can do room scale tracking. Well, the Rift S uses inside out tracking. Like at the, um, so you don't need cameras anymore. You don't need the external sensors anymore, no. Holy fuck, what a game changer. But what's the difference between that and Oculus Go? Well, the Oculus Go doesn't have positional tracking. It only has sort of rotational tracking. Um, it's it's you know cl- closer to maybe to your sort of Google Cardboard sort of a thing. It's it's standalone uh, and and doesn't have positional tracking in 3D space. The Rift S uh, has inside out tracking, positional tracking. It connects to a PC. The Oculus Quest has the, also what has the fuck is the tracking. Oculus Quest? The Oculus Quest is a standalone version of the Oculus. Well, basically of the Oculus Rift S. It's like They're the quite, Oculus Go. Yes, but it's what's a, the difference? The qu- the, the, so the Go and the Quest. Enough! I like all the Oculuses. <laughs> Oculi. Yeah, I love them all. The Oculus I love 
quest. This is the first Avengers is my favorite. <laughs> They're on the floor because you were making me upset. Can I please have them back? I need them to see. Your glasses. Mm. Can you see what you're reading? Oh my God. That's Evan's leg. Because it's a tampon. No! You know what I was just thinking about the other day? Do you remember that video of that girl who sucks on her own tampon? No! Do you, have you seen that? Oh my God. Do I have chocolate on my face? It's still to 212 by Azalea Banks. No! Oh, it up. That's no, it's horrible. It's E-Bombs World or something and I just oh, thought about the other no. day and I went, oh yeah. It's really you know upsetting. I, you know what I thought of the other day? I was reminded of um, You're the Man Now, Dog. Do you remember that website? Why you're the what? MND? You're the Man Now, Dog. No. No, what's that? Oh, so it's just a, a you're the Man Now, Dog. Yeah, exactly. You're the Man Now, Dog. No. <laughs> you're the Man Now, Dog. Yeah. So do we I'm know the quest? Do so we know what the... In August. Look, I... What oh. are you saying? This is a new... It's the highest end one. Yes. Yes, that's right. And what do you want to say it? about it? It's uh, well, three ninety nine US. It will be out uh, later this year. Are you gonna get it? I think, I think I probably will, unless there are any drawbacks from the Rift. So, I'm not sure. I think it, it's we're not really sure yet if the inside out tracking is is gonna be as good as the um, outside. Yeah, right. outside in tracking. It it might be. It potentially allows for more uh, bigger uh, room scale experiences, right? So we could move around the, this whole studio potentially, whereas with those external sensors, um, we tried setting them up in this studio and it was kind of, it was complaining that, that we were too far away from the sensors and it was, it's hard to set that up in a big space. Whereas with, with the inside out tracking, in theory, you could be moving around bigger spaces. So that's cool. But I, I'm not sure how it works with tracking the controllers because I know an issue with the Quest, I think, that was talked about was that as soon as the controllers aren't sort of visible from, from the headset anymore, that they're, that it doesn't know where they are, which is a problem, right? Oh, you can't put them behind your back. Well, I guess not. I, I don't know. This is something that maybe they're working on. I'm not See, sure. This is why I just wait a few years. It's going to be so much better in a few years. It it's really so will. It's, it's moving it's not quite clunky. quickly. Right. It, I it vomit. I always vomit if I try. <laughs> it makes me so mad. There are a lot of... You um, love VR. I, I I think it's a really exciting thing. You know what I love? I love R. Oh, yeah? What's that? Oh, about? shut yeah. up, yeah. Michelle. Oh, fuck off. Just um, fuck off, Michelle. Do you think VR... You're not impressing anyone. I Sometimes I think VR Comment will end up I'm being like you. 3D movies. And once, they, just once they get it, everyone will be like, eh. Better in 2D. What do you think? I think that as well. I think it's going to be very popular for people who don't know how to leave their houses. Mm. So, Evan? I'm here, aren't I? Where are you Come live on, here? Man. Where do you live? I assume you live here. Down the road. <laughs> yeah, it's, he's basically across the road. <laughs> uh, got out where of I live. house. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> no, I, I don't know. Maybe it will be the new gaming of everything. I think it's going to be incredible. I'm really excited for it. Oh, okay. Virtual Change reality in general. Well, I don't know. I just, it just makes me spew all the time. Uh, if it would stop making me spew, then I would get into it. You can. Michelle, no, that. here's what's happening. Michelle thinks that every time you put on a virtual reality headset, you have to shove your hand down your throat. You do! <laughs> you don't. I kept telling you, you don't have to do that. She doesn't know. It's inside out tracking. <laughs> um, she doesn't know. If you... Uh, if, you if it does sort of... fuck is wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Don't! Stop being a gross boy. I can't help oh it. Oh my god, can I try them? Oh my god! What? <laughs> oh, that's fun. Don't worry, I'm still hot. <laughs> <laughs> if you do get motion sickness from VR, that is something that goes away to, uh, for a lot of people. It didn't go away from me. I got the motion more... sickness from a, from a not virtual reality game once. I got oh, motion wow. sickness from watching this show. Really? Witness? Yeah. The camera work's not that bad. <laughs> Witness. Witness. Just And you were just playing that what, on a console or something? And, and it just on a PC. Wow. And it made me feel really sick and then I Googled it to see if anyone else. Turns out a lot of people got sick from that game and then I found really? this post of this guy being like, I'm so glad I found this post because my wife was saying um, that it was making her feel sick, but I thought she just wanted attention. <laughs> 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 and no. now I believe her. Oh, well, that's that happy ending to that story. The Everyone's awesome. <laughs> I, got, I got a little bit sick when I played that. You know when Mark and I played that Fortnite tournament? Yeah. That was useless oh, and yeah. weird? 
At that the Australian was very Open. exciting. Yeah, it was so exciting. But it was like, why am I <laughs> doing this? And I got a bit sick. I think I was just like overwhelmed. And there were so many screens around me moving. And there yeah, was I mean, that's quite a like, sensory oh. overload. Were you sick because you sucked at the game? I did suck at the game. I sucked real bad. Mm. Yeah, I sucked at I should never have been invited. That's because Fortnite sucks. HP has announced the Reverb Hot headset, take. which is an even higher resolution <laughs> Um, I really admire. Uh, Does it have reverb? So when you sing, you sound nicer. Even if you're like a bit vocally tired, it still just sounds like warm. Like it's a good room. No, I think vocally. it's just a name. Okay, no, it's a word, and it means something to us musicians. <laughs> okay, you can't just take it. What is it? Reverb. Re the HP reverb. Oh, Michelle. Um, it uh, it also has a slightly better field of view, which so, so they're sort of working on these things that that make. What's it a bigger. better field of view? Like bigger, wider? Yeah, wider field of view. So that means... That's, well, because that in Witness, that's what made me sick. I realised it was such a narrow field of view. Right, but it's a bit different when we're talking about VR headsets. All right, fuck. <laughs> Just trying to relate to you, Evan. <laughs> I'm doing the best out of all three of us. I'm interacting with you the most. Thank and you. what do I, I get? Criticism. No, she is doing great. I'm, not, I don't, I'm right. blocking everything. <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> So I'm like Ben is just standing on the side of the stage. <laughs> it's uh, it's Having like that. because when you play VR and you you like Ben, you've played with with the Rift. Yep. It can feel like sometimes you've got blinders on because you don't have peripheral vision. Mm -hmm. Everything's kind of in front of you, and you it, and and like Windows mixed reality is even worse. It's like you've got a viewing area that's that's reasonably small. Um, so this has like a bigger question. Or something. So does this? Okay. Why were you? Why are we talking about this? <laughs> because this is something. It's a problem that people are fixing. So it's, uh, each generation of headset will will improve on resolution. It'll improve on uh, the quality of the tracking. It'll improve on field of view. Th these sorts of things. That's why you um, buy it in a few years. Well, I mean, it's it's not bad as it is, but it is going to get. Are you going to spend five hundred and sixty dollars on not bad as it is? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, you. I spent a lot more than that on a, on my Rift setup. That's I mean, sure. I've seen some of the stuff that Beck spends money on. Ooh. Big geez. foam sword. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, should we Beck. move on? She's not. We should move on. Does anyone have any questions about the Oculus Rift? Yes. Oh my God, so many so questions. So, what's the difference? <laughs> ben, don't fucking do this. Go, Quest, S, and Normal. Normal. Do you, does everyone know that they're using um, virtual reality to g stop tourism that's ruining places? Does everyone know about this? And I don't know, or is this interesting to people? I'm telling it anyway. My friend Mark Rental is working with this company, <laughs> and they're using virtual reality to. Uh, so, like, there's a lot of um, sacred indigenous sites that you can't go to right. because you fuck them up with your feet. Yeah. Um, but now you can just like go there without going there, and they're doing yeah. it. With, where they're doing it for Pompeii. Have you heard of it? Oh Look wow. I saw a picture a of a idea. guy um, from Pompeii and he was masturbating. Really? When it happened. <laughs> Him uh, lying on the floor like that. That's sick. Like, you're just like, oh, the, the <laughs> mountain's rumbling. Better fucking... Better crank one out. <laughs> crank one out real quick. <laughs> Wait, that was like, that was, that's so sad. because All he, the brothels are like underground. He probably underground. didn't come. <laughs> Those Greeks. I think he came. Those I think Greeks. that's what happened. I think that guy came. <laughs> Those ancient and Greeks. They, oh, you had a party. It. As ancient G's. He was Mount Vesuvius. Yeah. Oh. And he exploded, except instead of a pyroclastic cloud that covered the city of Pompeii. It was just calm. It was calm. It was just calm. <laughs> this is disrespectful. Hot take! Oh, Dis what? It's too what are you soon. About? Too soon? <laughs> Sorry <laughs> for all the friends and relatives and survivors of Pompeii. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi to all my BC peeps out there. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone survive? Yeah. Pliny? Pliny the Younger. What the fuck? I did modern history in school and <laughs> ancient history and extension history. How did Pliny survive? Well, he was watching it. I don't know if it was the younger or the elder. Tell me in the comments. Can't wait to hear. Um, <laughs> but I was like watching it from a safe distance. Oh, okay. And that's oh, wow. how we have so such a good... So he wasn't in the area. So he like everyone the area, else but... in the world, he survived <laughs> by not being not near it. Yeah, so I survived September 11. You're right. Because sure. I was in Australia the whole time. Yeah. But I did see it Brave. on the telly. We should do a history show. No. I would love to do a history show. I love history so much. I... Ask me what I love. What's your favorite what history? History, dogs, music, friendship. <laughs> Great. Chips. What about? Uh, What's your favorite history? Smith and Daughters, the restaurant. I love lentils. What's what your favorite like? history? Dal. I make a good dal. What's, What's your my favorite, favorite history? history? I make a good dal. Um, my favorite history is. 
I like ancient Egypt. Ah. Mm. I also have a keen interest in Sparta, but not the films. Have you played Assassin's Creed? By I have time? played Assassin's Creed and I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> Assassin's Creed 2 is the best game in the world. Have you played the newer Assassin's Creed, Odyssey? <laughs> yeah, but I haven't finished it. Okay. As a history Assassin's thing, Creed 2 is the only one I've finished. And Assassin's Creed Origins? That's set in uh, no. Ptolemaic Egypt. No, I haven't played that. Well, it's Maybe fucking sick. Maybe I gotta go. I have to go play <laughs> Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, another big announcement that came out of GDC was Google Stadia, dubbed the Netflix of gaming. The what Stadia the platform fuck? will stream AAA games from the cloud to almost any device. <laughs> oh, um, well, it'll be nice to see this in action in America and everywhere else in the world except for Australia. Yeah. Um, our what? internet sucks. There's no way we could do this. Oh, I have NBN to the premises. It doesn't yeah, even matter. Yeah, we've got fiber. But the, it does, it's, yes. The, but it hasn't, it won't be launching in Australia. Of course not. Uh, uh, for now. Possibly because generally our internet is so bad. But so what this is, is that- Do you reckon you could VPN it? Sorry to interrupt. I think that would probably introduce too much latency. Uh, to VPN? Uh, yeah, I think that would, um, the detriment, it, like it might work, but I think you'd have. It problems. would suck ass. Yeah, I think it would suck ass. Is right. Um, so this is it, it, this is a really interesting thing. Like I think this could change gaming, right? Like the, the the idea that you don't need a console, you don't need a gaming computer to better play the best games and for them to look great because mm. they're all rendered by. I mean, this was always the Google in the cloud logical step. I mean, they they started doing it in Japan. Yeah, with a couple of games uh, already, um, they did it with Assassin's Creed Odyssey on a browser. Yes, so that was a test. So um, did it work? Yeah, it worked. Yeah. So I just feel like it would suck. No, I, I think this is going to be the next step in video games, and it's concerning because <clears throat> Australia has such ter- like some of the worst internet in the world. Mm. We're just going to be left behind. It's possible. Everyone's going to be moving on. All the next generation consoles are all going to be not consoles, but streaming boxes or streaming services. I think we'll just be left. I don't think. I think with the our next generation proverbial will dick in our proverbial hand. <laughs> Thanks, Malcolm Turnbull. <laughs> you dumb bitch. I think I don't think it'll move quite that quickly because of this problem. Like it's not even. It's still early days on all of this, and it, even launching in the states, it still isn't going to be available everywhere in the states. They have problems with bad internet as well. Um, but it's it's a really interesting prospect. Like the idea that the technology um, means that they can stream 4K at 60 frames per second with what they're saying is practically no noticeable latency is pretty yeah. amazing. And that you can play that on your phone with a controller, and then you can jump over and play it on your iPad, and then jump over and play it on your TV if you want. I love using it. Chromecast. It's a really um, Chromecast. That's amazing. It's it is amazing. Like it's it's just just changes. Everything. I mean, the controller looks like shit. Well, apparently, from Doesn't what I've heard, it's it's good. Like it's from from people who've had a hands-on uh, go with it. Apparently, it's a good controller. It it looks a bit. I don't know. Th- th- these things. It looks like a a fake controller from a game from Black Mirror. Yeah, like it looks like some Mad Cat shit. Yeah. It looks like they're just like, what does the control look like? But we can't make it look <laughs> like a PlayStation or an Xbox controller. Yeah. And then they made that. All the good designs are done already. I like it. I'm really, I'm here for this. I think this is really good. And consoles are very wasteful. That's true. In terms of making them. Yeah. yeah. And replacing them. And yeah. Very is this wasteful. gonna like fuck I think this game no. developers? Because, well, so like that's what, surely that's what. I think it's a bit better. I mean, we're not talking about having to port shit. You just have, uh, instead of console wars, It'll be like service wars. Mm. So you'll have Microsoft service and the Sony service, and there'll be no PlayStation or Xbox. It'll just be kind Netflix of Netflix and Stan. Yeah, Netflix and Stan, and you know Amazon but, Prime type stuff. Yeah, right. But that's potentially a bit of a scary idea because Google just has so much influence. Like they've got so <clears> much <throat> money. Their infrastructure is everywhere. Um, and there are obviously there are big companies working on this. Microsoft is working on their own. Sony's working on their own. Nintendo, even Walmart in the states Ugh. is, is Walmart? rumored. Walmart. This is like Safeway saying that they're or Woolies saying they're um, launching a, a, well, a game streaming service. I don't know. But yeah, like Microsoft X Cloud is already 
you know, being tested, they, they're ready to go head to head with Google on this. But so would this be, you wouldn't have to actually pay for any individual games, you just pay, pay for a well, subscription. Well, that's, that's so. the question mark. We don't, don't the, they haven't know. said anything about what the business model is. So we don't know if it means buying individual games. We don't know if it means paying for a subscription like Netflix and ben then getting access to, to all of them. Ben seems to know the answer. I reckon to the it would be a subscription service. Maybe you pay <laughs> per hour of play. Like it's, it's, there could be that there's sucks. so many different ways that of doing it. That would be very dangerous. I'll they're investing in their own uh, development company, and they're also partnering with obviously the big developers and publishers out there as well. So it's, it's still early days, but I think as it, from a technology point of view, it's it's cool. Like imagine not having to, like I was just showing, like the the idea of installing a game kind of wouldn't be a thing anymore. Having to do with updates, making sure your console's up to date, making sure your games are up to date means oh, that you could so not. Hard. Well, but it can be quite, a, quite big downloads. Like you put in the division and you end up with downloading tens and tens of gigs of updates. That's... I remember Red Dead Redemption too. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. That's... I remember Mark just sitting on the floor just with the controller in his hands, and it said seventy-five minutes. Left. There you go. So and instead I was like, of what that, what the fuck are you doing? I think in... a lot of people will be disappointed because, uh, I mean. Owning a hard copy is a real thing, you know? It's, it brings joy to a lot of people. And you can sell it. Owning that copy. And you can you resell can sell it, it and sell it <coughs> off. You can, you know, once you're done, you can But can't. again, it's, it's, a, it's wasteful. It is wasteful. It's like, we li we li I liked DVDs. <laughs> but they were wasteful. Yeah, yeah they were wasteful. No, you're right. And easily damaged. And, and, yes. and it's already kind of, the change is already happening. Uh, digital downloads are starting to outnumber hard copy downloads anyway. Mm. Yeah. So Xbox, kind of Microsoft is releasing a, a um, an Xbox One S without a disk drive in May. Mm. Excuse me. It'll be interesting. I think it's going to be a interesting time for you know games and and consoles and things like that. It opens up some really interesting uh, sort of new possibilities as well. So there's there's Google things like you can use the Google Assistant to ask for help if you can't. You're like, oh, how do I be this level and stuff like that. Ah. It's kind of fun. I don't know, but probably not all that useful. I would use that all but the fucking time. There's fun things like the, like they demonstrated here. You can go from watching the trailer of Assassin's Creed on YouTube to just clicking a button on YouTube and within five seconds be playing the game. I mean, Google does kind of terrify me. It's yes, that's <laughs> but. It's it's powerful. Like they're they're talking about Pretty being like able fine. to. I'm a dumb bitch. <laughs> you are a dumb bitch. Like you could be watching a streamer <coughs> playing on YouTube and click a button and in your browser be playing the game with them, for example. Uh, That's called stream sniping, and it's really bad, and you shouldn't do it. Stream <coughs> sniping. Yeah. Yeah. It was like you can see what they're doing, and you'd be like, I know where you're hiding, and then come and kill it. Right. Him. Right. Out of everyone, Michelle knew what I was talking about. I knew that. <laughs> I knew what you were talking I about. I spend just... no time gaming. <laughs> <laughs> no time at all. I'm always reading history books. Yes. Oh, yeah. You've got such a, you've got a very high IQ. <laughs> yeah, I'm really smart. <laughs> yeah, I'm you, a smart bitch. Do you like Rick and Morty? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Finally, someone you can fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Someone on your level, Ben. Finally, someone gets me. A smart girl for once. Uh, you dummies won't get Rick and Morty's humor. It's very intelligent. I'm Pickle Rick! <laughs> <laughs> um, the other thing they're talking about here is um, state-based streaming. So you can um, s s uh, set up a... <laughs> you okay? Are you it's having happened. a stroke? Almost, Wait, it's oh, fine. Almost like a save game. The developers could set it up so that you could play a level with a certain amount of health or items or whatever and, and jump straight into Oh, like a middle. different kind of challenge in the game. Yeah, so I think the one, the one they just showed in the demo was like, hey, you, like uh, you could, I think they just had someone tweeting saying, I bet you can't beat my time. Mm. And you can jump into exactly their scenario that they were in. Oh, that's um, cool. Just from a link from a tweet or something. That's cool. And be playing it. It's it's. It the possibilities all. are yeah. not endless. Uh, not this endless. morning, more of them. Yeah. another problem that I foresee yes. is this morning I woke up and I wanted to play some Division and my internet was down. So oh. if your internet is down, you can, you're can you fucked. Yep. There's nothing you can do in this situation. You have to boot up your old but, PlayStation 4. But as you point out, that's, that's now, right? <laughs> 
You yeah. Can't, you can't play the, the... There's no way you can play the Division No, two. I just played a different game. Yeah, that's right. It, so in this situation, you would not be able to play a different game. <laughs> yeah, you, you <laughs> would just, just... Just pull out your old... Uh, dusty old Commodore. You could still console. pull it out. Like, in this... In this Situation. Not everything has been burned. You can still play your place. No, before. no. In this, <laughs> in the future, we burn everything. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, we have to. Why? Yeah. We're gonna burn Keep everything. the demons at bay. Did you know? Did you what know? Demons? Bruce? Sex did you demons. Know we we're going to. When do they show up? Uh, 2020. We got one year. Sick. <laughs> yeah. Wait, are they good? Wait, we don't want them. Uh, it depends. If you wanna, ha- if you like sex demons, then yeah, you have a great time. What do they do? They just have sex <laughs> with each other. Oh, just your true. demons, yeah. Well, it sounds like humans because they have sex with each other, and I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <clears throat> help me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> should we crack on? Please. We shall. Finally, something I know about. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to derail you the whole time. I know. I know. A lo- I've got a lot of opinions on this game, everybody. So watch out. It's time for Ben's opinions on different types of video <laughs> games that I play. <laughs> you have right. to do that. I have to do that. Tom Clancy's The Division 2 is here. Ubisoft's open world shooter has moved to Washington DC as the strategic homeland division attempt to rebuild the city. Let's take a look at the trailer. I'm your masters of war. We used to be ordinary people with ordinary lives. The big guns. Trained in secret. Only to be activated if the worst happened. Seven months ago, that day came. Around the country, we fought to hold things together while the virus tore us apart. You that never done nothing. Our capital is falling. You put a gun in my hand. Our leaders are dead or missing. Dark forces are moving to take control of our nation. And we are the only hope to stop it. We are the Division. And history will remember us. That was a look at the trailer for The Division 2. Tom Clancy's The Division 2. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for... Not anyone else's. No. No, no. Um, he's dead. Yeah, yes. but he's Who's still that? releasing video games. He's still doing it. Who's that? From Beyond the Grave. Who's Tom Clancy. He's Tom. A, an author. Me. Huh. You're Tom Clancy. Mm. You're not You're dead. dead. Yeah. I'm a ghost. <laughs> uh, Explains all Evan, yes. did you play the, the Division Ooh. 1? I didn't play much of the Division 1. I did. I bought it at launch. <laughs> yeah. And it was, it had some problems, oh, yeah. but I leveled my character and I got good gear and then they rebalanced it and I started again and I got good gear and then they rebalanced it again and then I went, you know what, fuck you, I'm out and I stopped playing. Rebalanced it? it. Yeah, they just kept on like tweaking it and then rebalancing it so yeah. you'd, start, you'd, got, you'd come back to the game and they'd change the meta. But does that- and You were just kind of like, ah. Fuck. What? That's frustrating, but they're trying to improve Meta. the game. Yeah, I know, I know. That's if you just let me finish. Sorry. Kevin. Okay. Yes. <laughs> but if you, are you fucking serious? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sorry to interrupt. They eventually <laughs> got it good. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I know. That was a real fucking alpha dog move, huh? <laughs> uh, they eventually got it really good, and uh, out of everyone. This massive and Ubisoft yes. are, have been so far the only service people that are doing service games that have successfully implemented everything that they learned in the previous yeah. game. And Good on them. Yeah. Good and awesome. we're, it's 2019 and we're surprised when a service game is released that's complete. That's so yeah. stupid. That's so fucked. Yeah. We're like, hey, this is actually a full game. 
everyone's like, what? <laughs> this is unbelievable. Um, so yeah, it's a good game and it's different than the Division 1. It's got a different sort of gameplay feel to it. It's tighter, it's a little bit more tactical. It's much more enjoyable. Yeah. It's a real good, fun time. The story sucks the big dicks. The story, in what way? In the Without fact that giving spoilers. there is no spoilers to really give because at no point did I really care or understand what was going on. Mm. The president shows up at some point, you save him. Oh, but, him. Oh, yeah. How original. But you don't really, <laughs> nothing matters. Like, there's no real... You it's, don't care about the characters. No, as far as the story is concerned, the only thing that matters is you're, re, you're killing all these bad guys that are trying to do bad things. At least That's you're a fine. good person, though. Yeah, you That's what I like about this. I like that, like, <laughs> it's not... They're not just killing people for no reason. Yeah, I mean, they're killing people without any sort of... Um, fair trial or... Yeah, yeah and that's I mean, what of... I'm advocating for is <laughs> trial by the public. <laughs> yeah. Trial um, by my fucking gun. Of... Trial by Kyle. <laughs> but... Can't I all can't wait for trial by Kyle. Can't wait for that that's man true. to Shout have Shout out to Kyle Sanderland, who I love. Oh, daddy. That's but it doesn't matter. Kyle. Just like, just like Kyle, it doesn't matter. This is the fact that there's shit story. I think it's, I think, I, I haven't played it, but I like the story that's on the page and in the trailer. Looks good. Uh, it the, looks beautiful. It, I mean, the, the people that you're killing, though, are, are they bad people? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't know. they are. They're trying to, they're factions trying to take, take uh, over the people yeah, who are like, survivors. They're like fascists or whatever. But they're eco-terrorists, right? They're just no. trying to save the planet by eradicating humans. I don't think that that's true. Oh. But then again, I played the entire campaign and I don't know whether that's true or not because I just I just haven't. I thought they were just trying to take power. They were just trying to yeah. grab hold of power for themselves. You they're not good people. Yeah. They're not like, they're not Thanos. They're just fuckheads. Fair enough. Hashtag not Thanos, just fuckheads. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. I'm pro Thanos. It honestly doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. The gameplay is really good and yeah. it's just like, hey, you're retaking Washington DC after it's fallen. That's really it. And that's all that matters. And it's really fun. The missions are fun. The gameplay is really fun. It's a little, it's hard. It's quite, uh, got a yeah. hard. Did hard it make you game. hard? It made me a little <laughs> hard. I got a little chubbed. Can you pat the dogs? Uh, yes, and you can shoot the dogs, you can, yes, Evan. Yes, you can, yes. So you can, that too. you can kill dogs. Of course you noticed. Easy. Of course That's you noticed. For all our psychopaths Bruce? like Evan out there. <laughs> it's, um, um, I played the, I started playing the beta on PC uh, when the beta was happening and, and then I jumped over to PS4 because I, I found the controls a bit sort of confusing on PC. It just didn't quite feel right. And then I played it on PS4. Like, yes, this makes sense. Like the, the cover system being able to like, it, it just feels really tight. Yeah. It's just really nice. It's a really, really smooth, like jump going from one bit of cover to another. Yeah, I'd say that the story is worse in Division 2 than it is in Division 1, which is saying something because in Division 1 it was terrible. But overall but, the game is better, right? Yeah, overall the game is much better. I want to swing, I think no more shooting games, all swinging games. Swinging? swinging. Yeah, swinging like Spider-Man, all swinging. Oh, yeah. All Spider-Man swing. is a good game. But that's, no you know, there's, all swing. There's not a lot of games like this game, though, I would say. I mean, yes, there's a fuckload of shooters, but it's kind of a more tactical cover shooter. It's more tactical than your Gears of War. Yep. Okay. So it's kind of a little bit different, which is nice. Yeah, I think that's a good point. That's cute. I yeah. would play this game. It's yeah, almost I like a too. tactical version of Gears of War. In the it's hard. Gameplay. It's a hard game. It is hard. I've died several times. And something about The Division that r makes this game makes me swear at my television. I hate lot. it when games are hard. I feel negged. <laughs> and I don't respond well to negging. <laughs> the, the, the thing about negging is you assume that they actually trying to compliment you in some way yeah. when really <laughs> it's, it's actually pretty shit <laughs> <laughs> See, it works. you just want to fuck me those glasses just make you Stop look a little ugly actually fuck me. <laughs> oh my god ben i'm married <laughs> leave me alone how many dogs have you shot in this game just the one fuck how you. many dead dogs out of 10 would you give this game <laughs> 
I don't know. I haven't played it in enough of it to, to give it a score. You have to. You picked up gun. the controller, you shot a dog, and you were gun like, your head. Oh, it's enough for now. Gun Come back later. Head. You How shot many? a dog, you dropped a load. There's Dio. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. Stop. What? Am I rude? <laughs> what time? Am I rude? <laughs> Is, it, it, have you, because I didn't play much of the first one. See. Is there much of a difference playing in the, the Washington DC setting compared to New York City? I mean, the New York City was fun, but it was very, you know, it was New York, so it was very sort of corridors, long corridors, tight. It's yep. a city that never sleeps. Yes, thank you. And it was in winter. Have you been? You yes, must. I have, yeah. Uh, There's heaps times. of stuff there. Yeah, I know. The I Big to, Apple. Yeah, I used to live in... Do you know in Broadway's America. there? Have you seen 30 yeah. Rock? Yes, I have. Have you seen it. Hamilton? <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to see that. The musical? No. I wow. Hamilton. Is it because you hate Did you? people of yeah. colour? No, it's not. It's because I don't like musicals. Mm. You don't know. Do you like Book of Mormon? Yes. That that's was the, the musical. Oh, musical. Okay. I don't like musicals and it seems like that's a musical. Ben, so you just got caught in a lie, you fucking dog. Man. There's more white people in Book of Mormon. Uh, well, there's a lot of people of colour in Book of Mormon as well. Yeah, but you were like, I need more than one per one white person in a show before I'll see I've it. never, you're, I can't see Hamilton. It's only on in Broadway. Yeah, what the fuck, Ben? Did you try to get tickets in? Broaden your horizons, no, Ben. I don't want to. Ben! I don't want to pay $300 to see something that I don't even Why not? Like. Why? It's about history. Why don't you want to see it? Because I don't want to see it. You don't know. I would rather spend $300 on like And I'm shopping. A bag of coke or something. <laughs> Sorry if that offends you. That's a blood drug. Why are they Cocaine is a blood drug. Yeah, well, so is uh, Broadway. No, that's not true. Yes, it is. What? Broadway is not far a, less people die drug. in the making of Hamilton. You don't know that. Than you don't know that. I do. No, you don't. I do. No, you don't. <laughs> We've got too many mugs at the desk today. Too. There are too many mugs because the diva wanted a tea and a water. Tea and water. <gasps> tea is basically just water. No. Wrong again. So different. <laughs> Wrong again. Stop, you <laughs> fucking bitch. Um, you. I give this game. Four Anth anthems out of five. How many Book of Mormons do you give it? <laughs> I give it two Book of Mormons. Oh, How yeah. many Hamiltons? I give it zero Hamiltons. Well, that's good for you, because you hate Hamilton and... Do you even know <laughs> what that play is about? Yeah, I do. What? Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Ham what did he do? America. A Bill of Rights. What? What did he do? He was part of it. Yeah. Okay, you win this time. <laughs> <laughs> um, what did you like Charles about Division Two the yeah. most? I liked that it was. Uh, oh, there are not enough loading screens. Not enough. <laughs> yeah. You got to piss some. You're right. There really aren't many loading screens. There are not enough loading screens in this game. There aren't enough weird. I mean, the menus aren't great, but we needed more menus. I felt <laughs> um, they could have really done. They could have borrowed some Bioware things. Yeah, which is only a thing or two from Anthem. Yeah. I don't get well, it. Maybe if you played video games, you would. Well, Naomi plays video games. That's really mean. Just not the ones that we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Just not all the biggest ones that have come out recently. <laughs> She's not a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> maybe if someone gave me like a review copy or something, I would play it. Uh oh. Evan is a sexist. <laughs> Did you get a review code for this one? Yeah, big time. It's interesting. I'd love to play it. Personally. Uh, this game is worth picking up. Is it worth yes. $79? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's worth it's worth buying. Because the man who did not pay. Um, no, but I would have. Oh, fun fact. I didn't get a review copy for Anthem. But then I. Are you okay? I did oh my a, god! I did so a. Sorry, sorry, you had to go a week without a triple A title. Oh no, wait, this has a good happy ending because then I did a survey for EA and won a free copy of Anthem. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> they gave it away. Yeah, they were just like, please take this fucking game. <laughs> and then I played it and I was like, I don't want to play this game. This is a terrible game. Brutal. Wow. 
What game are we into? We interviewing next week? <laughs> <laughs> Sekiro. Who are we talking to? Uh, Sekiro Shadows of Twilight. Well, you can play that. That game. sounds like the fucking lamest shit game. What is that? It's not lame shit. It's game. from software. It's gonna be. It's good. It's from software. <laughs> yeah, it's a developer. <laughs> Called software. From software. The Dark Souls guys, right? From software. Read a book, honestly. <laughs> What fucking book, book is going to tell me about From Software? <laughs> <laughs> I'm honestly, so you. honestly, you are embarrassing me in front of all my friends. Please stop you don't have any friends. I don't. Are these all your friends? Huh? My friends? No. no. I don't even know <laughs> you guys. <laughs> <laughs> should we? Should we wrap it up? Oh, uh, who cares? Uh oh. No, I'm. Naomi I'm had. I'm cracking it. Naomi's cracked the shits, everybody. And period. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I guess that means I'm perioding too. That's how what it happens. Help. They all sync up. Can you now just like um do like, like a, a red carry. filter that just like drips down over do the screen? Carry. Make it carry. <sighs> if you don't make it carry, you're a sexist. What does that mean? <laughs> Are you a sexist? What do you mean make it carry? Make it carry, make it carry. Carry, 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 carry. carry, carry. Make it carry, make it carry. Don't carry, 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 carry. Don't be a sexist, Evan. Don't be a sexist, Evan. Don't be a sexist, Evan. Carry. Don't be a sexist, Carry. We have to think our top patrons. Make it carry, Evan. Make it carry. Next week is going to be a fun show. We're going to talk about... Dogs um, don't care. Uh, will Naomi week. get a free copy? Yeah. Do will I get a free copy? No. It's what unlikely. is Sekiro? What? It's a ninja game. Ninja game? Swords and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. See, I would have preferred to have this game. It's fine. If only we knew. What's this? Naomi Higgins. Yeah. That's your name. That's your name. You've just written my name? Mm-hmm. Let's get a shot of that. Do we have a shot of that? Why is it? Why is there the recycling sign? Because uh, I was talking about something, and I just—that's unrelated. Okay, so the just the bottom then. bit there. Yeah. That's just my name. Yeah, and I did a little rip. Uh, that's accident. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering about that. Yeah. <laughs> so you can. <laughs> oh, no. That's oh, actually no. how you spell my name. Yeah. With a tongue. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's 2019. It's Wake hard. up. There's no key on ah! it. It's a tongue instead of the G. Okay. I have nothing left oh. to throw. We uh, have to go. We have to go. Hey, we have to thank our top patrons. I want hey, it. Um, is there a question that we have to answer? Oh, there oh, is a I? question. Oh, there's a question. Wait, can I say thank you to everyone who helped Bruce? Oh, of course. Oh, thank you so much. That was really, really nice. And he's going really well. And he made it to his 10th birthday the other day. Yeah. Oh. And he's on, he's on chemo, but he's fine. He's not. It doesn't have any side effects. He's doing so well that they're going to put him in a book. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Actually. Oh. Yeah. What book? Well, he's yes. meant to have like he's, really the, the literature will change because he's on like a new chemo and it's meant to like basically he's outlived what they thought he was going to live. Wow. Um, and he's meant to come and see a doctor like every four to six weeks and then we took him back and they're like bring him back in ten he's doing great. Wow. That's so lovely. You know I'm really proud. Bruce, um, you didn't tell me the that. The power of prayer. We have a, a pa- <laughs> we have a, a Patreon. and prayers work. We have a, a Patreon question from Mike Oostendorp. Hello, Mike. Mike. Hey, Mike. Mike asks, uh, presuming that sweet Patreon money is not yet paying all of your bills, what do you guys do for a living? Ben, I mean, you don't have to. I'm a comedian. Yes. And actor. Yeah. And That's true. On the side, I sell <laughs> ass. <laughs> Sweet, delicious ass. How's that like, going for you? Uh, no, it's I'm going <laughs> through a bit of a slow period with my ass sales. How much that ass cost? Um, five bucks. For the whole ass? For the whole ass for ten seconds. Five dollars per ten seconds. Wow, that's probably why you're not getting many customers. I've got a tiny expensive. ass. <laughs> I got one of the smallest asses you've ever seen. Um, True. Yeah, it's really small. <laughs> what about you, Naomi? Um, I ass, quit my ass. day job recently. Yes, that's great. Congratulations. Thank you. And I've just been making money doing acting stuff. So, fuck you. What are you selling yeah. on the side? Um, puss. <laughs> <laughs> great. $10 per um, millisecond. Little peak. And I am making oh. so much money. 
Uh, I wish that I wish that I was dead. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. What do you do, Michelle? You're just a performer. We're all professionals. We're all just professional. We're professional performers. Yeah. Writers and actors. I um. I got this dog. What do you do? You got a dog. What, what do, do you I do, do, Evan? Yeah. I run Stupid Old Studios, which is where we film this. Um, I run it with uh, people like uh, Matt Stewart. Beck Medium. Petratus. Beck you didn't think of Beck there. first? Well, it's just uh, uh, Matt's sort of in the day to day. <laughs> Andy Matthews. Andy just Matthews and Alistair Trumbull Virtual, who are, they do the Two in the Think Tank podcast, you might be aware they've also been on the show. Everyone's been on the show that, that, that runs this studio because um, they're all comedians and writers and stuff. Uh, and, uh, and, and we do we do video stuff. So, I, I, you know, we do com- we shoot, shoot comedy stuff and. So I do a bit of producing and directing and, and stuff. They also do softcore pornography. Yes. <laughs> no, we don't. Yes. Um, I do Hardcore. Sammy J on ABC. He's doing well at the moment. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's hot stuff. Yeah, it's, a, it's as softcore as you can get. <laughs> Just a man talking. <laughs> but the dream, obviously, is that we all... To hardcore. <laughs> 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 The that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> the dream that's obviously the good is stuff that is. we all stop doing comedy. I think we've already stopped. <laughs> and we get a job in an office. Yeah. <laughs> that's the dream is that we're doing that's this at the moment just to make ends meet, but soon we hope to get a full time gig. I want to get a job in insurance. Yeah. <laughs> just ask yourself, would you hire us? And if the question that's is yes, are. then get your Hire fucking us. life's sorted. <laughs> um, You're making bad decisions every day. Okay? Go away, think about it. Will you Come back. kill yourself or? Yeah, eventually. I sometimes work at a tech startup. No, there well, you go. I used to. And you I used really to work do at that. a tech startup. I did used to work in a you tech startup. You used to work in a tech startup. Never. You used uh, never. to <laughs> move furniture. I used, I used to work for Groupon back in Chicago. Really? Did you? Yeah. I got a group on once. That's oh. a tech startup. Thank you. Yeah. What did you back when they were? Am I the only one who hasn't worked at a, at a tech startup? Yeah, because you're a dumb bitch. Oh. Dumb bitch. Um, Get on the cloud, man. The thank <laughs> the you for your question, Mike. Kindness is what matters. Um, we have to thank our top patrons. Big thanks to Jim Hughes, Dean Madden, Kylie Jones, Zach Steinbacker, Angus Bowen, Espen Brockvam, Scott Chapman, Shemeth Widgeratney, Christian Ford, Christian Sanchez. Sanchez. Josh Apter, Paul Barber, Bobby, Jake Robertson, Robertson Alex Chong, Ben Love Lovett, Christian Sanchez, Sanchez, Christian Sanchez, Adam Jambatista, Adam Jambatista, Christopher Shiki, Christopher Shiki, <laughs> Lachlan Chapman, Lachlan Chapman, Rupert the, the Dog, dog. Rupert the Dog, Drew Peisner, Drew Peisner, it's Wisner. <laughs> Drew Schuller. 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 Drew Boy. Jarvis. Gracie. Gracie. And Jack Mafati. Jack Mafati, Jack Ufati. Alexander <laughs> Hamilton. <laughs> Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. If you want to hear your name read out on the show, then uh, you need to prioritize what's important <laughs> in your life. Um, and jump on the twenty dollar Patreon uh-huh. here at yes. patreon.com slash gamey game. That's right. Or gamygame.com slash Patreon. Or and you send can... your money. I'll put my uh, PayPal right here. No, right that's here. my thing. What? You dumb bitch. What? You taking that too? No. I my deal is you send me fifteen dollars, I'll say your name on the show. Has oh, okay. taken you up on Sorry. That? No. No one. I was just gonna say, give me money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, you, you, you get a mug if you sign up for twenty dollars here as well. We clearly have too many mugs, um, so you can have one. Uh, if you enjoy the show, you can subscribe to the channel and you can tell all your friends about it and you can share it around, which is a nice thing to do when you like something. Uh, and remember, you can podcast <laughs> the show too. Um, if you if just um, search for us. On Speaking the, of the podcast, app, are you still doing your podcast? Hell yeah. Batch bitch. Batch, Batch bitch. bitch. Batch bitch. Are you guys um, doing Married at First Sight at the We're moment? doing Married at First Sight at the moment. Thank fucking Christ it's nearly over. And then we'll be back to Bachelor um, in Paradise, which will be much nicer. And I won't want to die. And I've got a podcast called The Grub. Right Club. The Grub. <laughs> the Grub is great. It's a really funny uh, sketch, sketch, show. sketch podcast. No comment on my yeah. podcast. With uh, Anne Edmonds and Greg Larson. Uh, and Naomi's <laughs> podcast is great too. I've talked already on the show about uh, your podcast. 
No comment, no free games. The Naomi Higgins <laughs> story. Uh, That's the name of my book. <laughs> <laughs> no comment, no games. <laughs> no comment, no games. By Naomi Higgins. <laughs> Uh, what if, what, what There's nothing in this book. It's just Can pictures. Comedy Festival <laughs> or Comedy Festival watch, watch Glenn Ridge, Auntie Donna. Yeah, Glenn Auntie Donna's um, uh, web series, which is really, really good. Follow me on Instagram. Michelle's in it. She's great in it. Follow me on Twitter. Follow, Follow me oh, home. Come Quanda. I'm in another play as well. Huh? I'm in a play called Quanda with a K. Oh, with Tom Ballard. Tom Ballard. Yes. Wrote it. There you go. It's got Emily wow. Tahini in it. Geraldine Hickey. Oh, great people. Geraldine Hickey! They're all great. We love Geraldine Hickey. She's yep. so funny. She's great. Also, She's my favorite. I've got a uh, weird patch of skin that's a bit dry at the moment. <laughs> uh, what, do you, what do you reckon? Where can we see that? Where is it? Uh, it's just sort of in my lower back area. Mm -hmm. So, uh, not my ass, just above the ass crack. That's good. That's you know so funny because Tarzo has a um, patch of... We're not so here. different. We're both dogs. It's the cone. <laughs> We're both terrified of everything. <laughs> um, <laughs> thanks, guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Go